Hello guys, my name is Bob. Welcome to the Excel Math channel. In today's um, video, I'm going to uh, explain the difference between the function percentile.exe and the function percentile.inc. So first thing first, I'm going to show you the difference between the two functions by using an example. So in column B, you can see a data set that contains four points reading from uh, the value 0 to 30. And by definition, we know that, you know, the definition of the percentile is that 30, the value 30 is actually our 100 percentile of the data set. And the value 0 is actually the 0 percentile of the data set. All right, so we see how the percentile INC works now. So in order to uh, run this percentile.inc function, the first thing you have to do is to press equal and then to look for percentile.inc, which returns the k percentile of values in the range, where k is in the range 0 0.1 inclusive. All right, so I'm going to use this. And in this percentile.inc, there is two parameters. One is array. So this array is well represents the uh, the range of cells that contains your data set. So in this case, that will be from B7 to B10. Um, the reason why I put the dollar sign is because I want to apply to the rest of the cell um, in the same column, column G. So K actually can take in between 0 and 1. So when you, when you key in K is equals to 1, it actually finds the value of the 100 percentile in the data set, which is in this case 30. All right. And if I were to do it to the same as finding the 0 percentile by changing K is equals to 0, and that will be zero. All right. So the percentile dot include actually states that 30 is my 100 percentile and the value zero is my zero percentile. So the next thing we do is that we apply this to the rest of the cell. So we change k is equal to 0 0.9 to represent the value of the 90th percentile. Uh, k equals to 0 0.8 to represent the values of the 80th percentile and so and so forth. Let me just apply this to the rest of the cell. All right. So what you can see down here is that the percentile dot inc function interpolates, all right, uh, the values for the specified percentile lies between two values in the data set itself. All right. So because this data set is evenly spaced out, so you can see that the, the values calculated by the percentile dot inc is also evenly spaced out. Well, to make things simple. All right. So now we understand how the percentile dot inc actually works. We are moving on to look at how percentile.exe actually works. Alright, so if the percentile.exe works in a different manner. I'm going to show you next. So first thing I copy the formulas to the column S and I change um, the uh, IMC to becomes E and C. And then you'll be able to see the difference between the two functions. Okay. So as the results actually shows, if you have to realize that percentile dot exe actually calculated 30 as the 80th percentile while 0 as the 20th percentile instead of how percentile dot inc actually calculated which is calculating 30 as the 100 percentile and 0 as the 0 percentile 
So in a way, percentile dot exc function actually only take into consideration that this data set that you have provided contains uh, the 80th percentile values to the 20th percentile values and does not contain what it is uh, beyond the 80th percentile values and beyond the 20th percentile values. All right. Um, it does the same thing as percentile dot in by doing the interpolation uh, of the values for the specified percentile when uh, this percentile you know itself uh, is lying between two values. All right. So I hope this video actually understands. Uh, allows you to understand the difference between the function percentiles.exc versus the percentiles.inc and these two functions is only available after the Excel version 2010. Before the version Excel 2010, uh, the older versions, uh, it only has this function called percentile and it's equivalent in the sense that the way that it works is the same as how the percentile the INC works. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Bob. I uh, hope this video makes you makes it clear the difference between the two. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye guys. Thank you for watching.